Hey guys, it's Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now, as you guys can see from the title, we are back with our princess collection with another fave. She's actually like one of my favorites. She's so hot, so sassy. I love her and that is the beautiful Princess Jasmine. Now, I'm so excited to sit down and do Jasmine. Something tells me that this makeup look is gonna be very cute, very fierce, very pretty. So I'm excited to dive right in. This is actually gonna be my first time using this palette. So for the majority of this tutorial, I'm actually gonna be using the Thirsty palette from Jeffree Star. This palette, is so pretty. I think it has the perfect jasmine tones in here. And I also got a couple products from MAC that we're gonna try out today, my first time using them. I also like that this palette has a nice big mirror so it's perfect to do makeup in. So yeah, let's just jump into this transformation. First, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the eyes with some primer and I'm just using my P. Louise base in the shade two. Just blend that all over the lid. Because we want these colors to be what? Nice and bright and right and tight. My lips are feeling a little dry, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... They feel like a cactus! Much better! Bitch, there's not a shade called Kumquat in here. I cannot. Kumquat! I mean, the color's called Kumquat. We have to use a Kumquat. It's called Kumquat. We have to use a color Kumquat. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pop this on the crease. Oh, that is very, very pretty. I know it's just like a simple, like really warm orangey brown, but like this shadow color is bomb. Just keep blending that out. Oh my god, I'm like, I know it's a really basic shadow shade, but I'm like so gagged by this color. It's very pretty. I'm actually gonna blend that up a little bit higher because I got some arched brows today, so. I feel like Jasmine like typically served like a nice bitch brow, so I went a little higher with the brows today, so we're just gonna blend that up a little bit higher. Ugh, the shadow. All right, now that we got that nice and blended out on there, we are gonna go ahead and take this smaller detailing brush and tap into this shade right here, Drizzle, and hit that more towards the bottom of the crease. Ooh, this is pretty too. It's like a very like milk chocolatey color. We're just kind of pressing that in towards the bottom of the crease and just flicking it upward. And then going back to that brush with Kumquat on it and using it to blend out. And again, using that other fluffy brush, just blend that out. Now using our white Morphe concealer, we're gonna what? Carve out that lid. Ooh, that looks bright. Now we're just gonna take a flat concealer brush and blend that white out and really press that pigment onto the lid. Once we got that on there, we're just gonna pick up that shade Drizzle on a fluffy brush and we're just gonna hit that on the outer corner. Really press that in there. Using this to give us some smoky toky. This palette like totally reminds me, I think it's supposed to be, obviously it looks like one. It's like a snow cone. I think it was supposed to be like popsicles, but it's reminding me more of like these shades are like an ice cream cone. I like it. Now that we got like all of our plain Jane colors going on there, we gotta give you some iconic Jasmine colors. She's got that like beautiful minty sky blue outfit on. So there's these two colors, Splash and Submerge in here. Now I don't know which one I wanna use because in some things it looks like this and in some it looks like this. So we're gonna mix the two together and we're just gonna slam that on the lid. Ugh, yes. And we're gonna keep that wrapped really tightly up towards the top. And go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Now we're gonna be giving you a cool look, kind of like how we did with my mini controversy palette review. Now we're gonna go ahead back in with our white Morphe concealer and we are going to cut the lid one more time and leave this nice pretty line of teal right towards the top of the lid. Now, once you have very carefully, like I'm talking very carefully, I went back and kind of cleaned it up with like a little bit of a lip brush. I should actually probably do more. Like be so careful. Take your time doing this part because the neater it looks, the better it looks, obviously. So just take your time doing that step. Now I'm gonna take this color Taste Buds, this gold, you guys. Like. What? Gorge. We're gonna now go ahead in and pack that gold onto the lid and it is called Filthy Rich, which Jasmine was. Hello? Okay, so we're gonna wet the brush. <laughs> All right, that's a little better. 
I'm actually gonna tap into some of this color, bitch, too, because I think I wanted it a little bit darker. There we go. Once we had that gold shimmer packed on there to our liking, go ahead and take that fluffy brush again. Just blend onto the lid like we've been doing, keeping everything nice and seamless. You can tap back in a little bit of drizzle, add a little bit more on the edge. Now let's add some gold to this side. All right, now that we have that beautifully blended out, I'm just gonna take my finger and we're just gonna go into it because it's finger swatched really well. I just have to be very careful because we're covering a really small area. And I'm just gonna see what it looks like if I put it on the lid with my finger. It's also hard because of my nails. Okay, that definitely is showing up more. Let's take a little bit of both. Yeah. So this definitely goes on better with your finger. I just do not like to apply shadows with my finger. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I have less control over what I'm doing, if that makes sense. But here we go. Looking beautiful. We are now gonna tap into this color Submerge right here, the sky blue, and we're just gonna hit that right under the eye. Woo, Pigment McGee. How you're darn. She is pigmented, but we got to blend her out a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that more on this big fluffy brush. It's really go under the eye until she is fused outward. Now I'm tapping to this color Parch, just this nice light skin tony kind of color. We're just going to use that to blend out even more and just kind of hit that right here to brighten. So blend, blend, blend brighten. Now unfortunately this palette is missing something that I really feel like I need for this look and that is just a nice matte black shadow to really smoke out the sides because I feel like Princess Jasmine would have a really smoky sexy eye. So we're just going to tap into my ride is here from the Conspiracy palette. Really hit that on the outer edge so we're just going to stamp that on and then just really begin to start blending that away. And then start running that under the eye and you want to really make sure this is nice and blended out. And just be very careful because I am getting some fallout from this shadow. And once you got that nice and blended out to your liking, go ahead and repeat it on the other side. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm having like a real bad watery eye day today. It's the first time I've worn these contacts in a while, so please bear with me as I blend and blink and cry and all that fun stuff. So yeah, but I think we are looking blendisha sparks to perfection. This is looking pretty hot, don't you think? So now we're gonna go ahead and give the eyes some drama and line our eyes with our liquid elf liner in jet black. Now that we have our liquid liner on the top to add some drama, we're just gonna go ahead in and line the lower lash line. And I'm just using the shade Dark Room from Morphe. And because I like the way it looked so much in the Elsa tutorial, and I think it will be perfect for Jasmine, if not better for Jasmine, we're gonna go ahead again and connect the lower and top lash line. All right, so I went ahead and I blended that out a little bit more because she was looking a little uh, harsh. It still is, but I wanted it more of like a smoky gradient effect rather than like, hi eyeliner, hi eyeliner. So now we're just gonna go in with a little mascara. So now that the eyes are looking dark and mysterious and gorgeous, I just went ahead and made sure everything was nice and blended out. We're just gonna go ahead in with some bronzy McBronzer just to recontour the face, really warm it up because obviously Jasmine has a gorgeous golden skin tone. We're not gonna overdo it. It's not gonna be that kind of gig. And now we're just gonna go ahead and brighten up all of our highlights. All right, now we need a little highlight, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap into Jeffree Star Diamond Wet and really get these cheekbones going. We need like true Golden Goddess vibes. gonna keep uh, recutting that, getting that looking good, gal. Oh my God, am I a crazy freaking McGee? <laughs> Did I like wanna highlight my brow bone or y'all probably are like, this crazy bitch did not highlight her brow. What is she doing? <sighs> now let's clean that brow up. 
Now I'm debating if I want to make my brows even darker because obviously Jasmine has super dark hair, but I think that the intensity on these are okay. I don't think that they have to be like pitch black. Now, I picked these up from MAC. So I'm gonna be using them. It is the Peach Stock Lip. I could have sworn Jasmine had red lips. Like I swore up and down. I was like, I need to get like a nice red lip for Jasmine. Like, you know, let the kids have it. Cherry this puss. She has a nude lip. It's like a darker nude, but it's a nude. So I wanted to do like a nude nude. So we're gonna go ahead and try out this combo and see how we like it. Now this is the Cork Lip Liner from MAC and the Peach Stock Lipstick. So, you know, I'm not like a lip liner kind of gal, but uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and sharpen that a little bit more. I feel weary. Now let's go ahead and add this lipstick. It is a satin one, peach stock. I think I like it. And just to finalize this, we're just gonna add a little blush on the cheek. Give her that princessy glow. All right, well, I got my lashes on, so now let's go ahead and transform into the fierce, the sassy, the beautiful Princess Jasmine. guys well i hope you enjoyed tonight's transportation where are we transporting to transformation into the modern day princess jasmine i am loving this look i feel like a sexy bollywood princess now this look was created by a designer from croatia his name is zigman y'all know i'm a little mixed stan go watch their new tour jesse is wearing this same outfit but in green but still that basically means i'm in little mix right have them hit me up okay i'm their biggest stan they need to bring me over so i can be like the fifth member and just be like in the background. I feel like like the Kim Kardashian of princesses right now, I'm kind of living, okay? So if you guys really enjoyed this video and you are not already, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting new videos. I really enjoyed this one and I hope you guys are excited for who's to come next. And as always, yes. yes.